Good evening chaps and chapettes, Rogger here and welcome to Project Zomboid. Now I actually have a bit of a history with this game because I played the living crap out of it for a good 30 odd hours when it was relatively new-ish. And as, well, anyone with a Steam library knows, the games which you used to play and like it tend to get knocked down the list quite rapidly just because of you know it's steam so sheer volume but this got updated recently and turned up in my feet so i thought i'd give it a try again and oh boy has it changed a lot since i played it uh, when i played it it didn't even have if you look in the bottom left hand here mods so i had a look on the workshop and they're all oh, blimey nuggets there are some interesting ones so i've gone through and this i'm just going to have a quick play of it and i'm just going to show you the game because it is another good one if you like if you like the games which i've shown on the channel you will probably like this one as well so i'll just quick full, full disclosure to showing you what i've got running so advanced trading post cheap menu which i hopefully won't need and can burn corpses in the fire oh good yeah that was one of the things i remember you ended up with piles of bodies everywhere uh, some immersive overlays kind of cool uh more interesting loot uh yeah some uh some some fixes interesting things like silences not gonna have the starting points extra that is a cool picture uh this one's probably the most interesting one because uh, obviously in mul multiplayer is fantastic in this game it is a lot of fun i heartily recommend it although you do need to basically either host your own server or find a decent server which is hard hardish to do but on this this mod actually adds like npcs into the solo play which are, is rudimentary ai but it's more interesting than you're just you are the lone survivor and naked zombies because why not right so let us do a quickie solo right so i've done the tutorial okay let's see oh yeah of course uh, yeah that was one of the things i did forget one of the interesting things is because you basically go from like the the very very first starts of basically your classic zombie outbreak but one of the interesting things about this game is that like the water and electricity eventually get cut off because well duh there's no one at the power plants or the water plants anymore so where the hell is your water and electricity coming from it's been it's been quite a while so one second dying just the way you want and i love the fact they've got little spiffo or whatever so, i'll go with i'll go with normal so what's the difference between that it's a uh... okay missing some tools okay i can go with that new game oh blimey they got maps now because again when i played it there was only one map so what have we actually got okay so a kentucky place okay backwatery source of towns what's fin wow a whole vanilla world plus added survivor but oh maybe this is because of that mod i've got in because i think it was this one yeah it used to just be called knox county there in the description Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to give this one a quick try. I may, may be reloading back to here. Let's just have a see. Okay, well, let's try the survivor cam. Let's just see now. Oh, oh, blimey. Cool, that is... Oh, yeah, I remember. It's like The Sims, if The Sims had a zombie apocalypse. Well, obviously. Gonna, yeah. He is going to be Haja Hagorian. No, he's probably going to be dead in the next five minutes. So there. Oh, good. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this because this is good. this is one of those ones where it's a case of um, you have a certain amount of points to choose what you want, and if you because you're like eight is not much. You see, bottom right hand corner, eight is not much to spend. So what you do do is you choose negative traits in order to offset. Actually, you know what? I've decided because this is inevitably going to be a death run anyway because I haven't like I said I haven't played the game in years. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make me. In a roundabout mode, so it's technically unemployed at the moment. Sucky. Okay, so let's actually have a look at the good stuff. Okay. Well, I do read books fairly quickly. Let's see. Oh, I do know first aid. Certainly not freaking graceful. Uh, let's see now. Oh, I just. I like to think I'm relatively organised. I'm pretty stout, admittedly. Mm, yep okay that about makes it okay so i need 10 negatives so let's have a look see oh this is gonna be thing not nope. not really clumsy um okay i'll admit i'm not the bravest of men well i do have to wear glasses so well technically it's far-sighted but you know don't you can get not hemophobic don't have any of those mm, ash <laughs> despite being a fat guy i don't have to eat pretty don't have to eat all that much pacifist fuck off 
sleepy head. Uh, oh, I do like my sleep. Not a smoker. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let's be honest, I am out of weight. I'm overweight and out of shape. Mm. Okay, but that means I've got 10 to spend. So that's being brutally honest. Is there any way I can change these? No? Okay. Well, thick skin sounds handy. I'm definitely not an outdoorsman or I don't have the great night's vision, but that's what I've got. And not affected by harsh weather conditions sounds pretty good. This is probably a terrible bill, but, um, fuck it. Right, this is where it gets a bit overdramatic. Up the optimism. Okay, let's get going. Oh, okay, I randomly got a wife. Now, where the hell? Oh, yeah, the survivor camp. Now, this, this is going to make things a bit more interesting. So, I've got a permanent ally in the missus. Um, wife. Okay, blimey. And I can. Okay, is there a way I can let go of the controlling the misses? Oh, esque. Esque? Um, oh dear. Well, thank you, mod. You seem to have, you seem to have knackered me. Okay, bugger. Gonna have to quickly redo this one, sorry. Right, okay, time, second time round. Misses has got a shotgun. He's apparently about 63 years old. Let's have a little explore. This is Survivor's Game, because like I said, the whole AI thing is entirely new to me. Yeah, I'm just going to go around and have a quick look. And I'm pleasantly hot. Oh, is it because of the... The <laughs> manly mode activated. Fine. Is that better? Outside in the rain. There. Oh, there we are. That's better, apparently. Yeah, let's have a quick check of all the skills and stuff. Because it used to be a case of you just killed you killed zombies, or found stuff. Then you then you got uh, experience points, and then you just shoved it in whatever you want. So it looks like they've gone for more of like a a Skyrim sort of style. You know, where basically like whatever you do is what is what gets in, gets increased. So like you run a lot, you get better at running. Use hammers a lot, get better at hammers, etc. Is there a way I can open up her inventory? Okay, maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't a way. Maybe she has to do that entirely by herself. Out of the way. Maybe there isn't. Maybe it's a case. I thought it was just a case that there was a map. Or is it still an, is it an item? I'm trying to remember what the hell it was. Right, okay, well. I guess me and the missus are going to go have a bit of an explore. Ah. Can I sneak up on ye? Okay, there's a highway. I suppose it makes sense to follow the roads. So the survivor camp is off the northeast highway. Oh, I see. So help, I don't. To where are you going? Oh god, are they, are they all brain dead? <laughs> okay, fine. You're gonna wander around and get killed. Okay, that's your job then. Manly. I could have sworn there was some map in the game maybe it's an, maybe it's an item maybe i have to literally physically find a map apparently have sarah connor if she managed to live into retirement age maybe well thank you very fucking much bloody hell hmm i hope it's not a case of she's got an unlimited shotgun because that's a bit okay yes yes there is a cheap menu but i've only got that as a just in case okay what's this then Oh, okay, random survivor camp. Duncan. Okay, I've got Duncan now. John. Okay, fine. Screw you then. Come on, you guys. Are you both turning up? Um. Sarah, are you coming? 
And you're just stuck on the wall. Okay, yes, again. Rudimentary AI. Fair enough. Thing? I mean, yes, it's mods, but blimey, things do seem to have changed. Can I sneak up behind you, or is the missus going to just shotgun it? I didn't really need to ask, did I? Ah! Civilization! Or well, some sort of shopping mall. <laughs> Don't want to call that civilization. Right! Let's actually have a look. No, no, I'm just going to trust you guys are following me. Let's have a shifton. Ah! Okay. Are there lots of survivors then? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to hold fire. Go on, Bennett. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to be one of those games where you need to know what you need and what you're looking for. Flashlight, you're probably going to be useful. Now, what's that uh, fast foody sort of place? I mean, that looks like a fa I think that's the fast. Yes, yeah, a burger. Mmm, raccoon burgers. We actually want to see it, see it this time, so come on. Shoot the bugger. <laughs> oh, Sarah. You are a killing machine. Another one. Sweetheart. Maybe it's got a limited range. Aha, map. Okay, sweetheart. Ah, an axe. Defo take ye. Antidepressants. Uh, uh, oh. Slight panic. Oh, yeah. Could you use a snack? Oh. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to feed ye. Annotated map. That's the important one. Big hiking bag. That's what I want. Read map. There we go. Where the hell are we? M Moldaj Kentucky. I think KY is Kentucky. So where the hell were we? So we're by... By this Spiff... This, that says Spiffo, so... I'm guessing we're there. Not sure though, so... Theoretically, if I continue going south, I should then get to a motel. Okay. Food place. Okay, so yes. Lots of food stuffs. Grand. Very grand. Or no, uh, duct tape. I'm guessing is gonna be useful in any apocalypse. Okay. Uh, okay, so okay, so this might be the spiffos which is on the map. Okay, we've got survivor with a shotgun. Should be handy to have. Right. Light them up, guys. Well, that made everything a lot simpler. Duct tape. Oh wait, what's that? West Point map. That's a different map. Need a digital watch. I mean, I've got a towel, so makes sense. Uh, well, I don't need cigarettes, so not smoker. Rose. Oh blimey. Okay, they might <laughs> might have taken on a bit of a bigger game than I intended. Credit card. Pretty certain that's not useful in the apocalypse. Well, you never know. Okay, let's have a look at the Rosewood map. Okay, entirely separate area. Can I... Can I shrink you? Really? That'd be nice. No! Having the digital... Okay, can I... No, simply having it on me has now given me a timer in the top right-hand corner. That's very handy. So there's Spiffos, then there's a... Retail and commercial place. Now, so if I continue down here, so if I'm... From where I think I am, if I continue down the main highway, I should hit a motel, and then I know for certain of where I am. And considering it says I need to take 
Starter fields, takers, takes out and eats a jar of broccoli. Well, I'd love to be able to interact with their inventory. That would be really nice. Then, because, again, I don't know why I can't just right-click pers person inventory. Why is that not one of the options? But that's making me think. Go on. Shoot him. Kaboom. Double kaboom. Okay, let's have a quick check on their maps again. So definitely we're not where I thought it was in the annotated map. Was that near... Are we near Rosewood then? Because we definitely want a... Uh, we're definitely on a main highway, and we passed the Spiffos. Which still sounds like some sort of... I don't know. Something weird. Okay, we're definitely okay. We're definitely on a main high... Maybe we're on a main highway in between. Is there another Spiffos on the annotated map? Okay, now I'm definitely getting the feeling I'm in between the towns. Okay. So, oh... Sorry, Sarah, but I don't know how to feed you. What is interesting, however, is this was here before we got here. I am somewhere. I've no cocking idea where. Welcome to... Let's say something. What's this? Welcome to Dixie Mobile Arms. Oh, okay. Mobile Park. We are talking about finding anything here? Look, you look walk up to it and there's food right there. Ah, now here we go. Oh, come on, sweetheart, don't be broken. At the very least, it sorts out their food problem. Okay. That seems alright. Oh, at least I can get my chips back. Or crisps. Whatever you, whatever you like to call them. Them. Ah. Ah, here we go. Here be trailer trash land. You guys, you guys do whatever you like. Yes. Hope those guys don't need to rest, because blimey, I have no idea how to. Right, let's see if I can remember how the bloody well cook. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? I don't know. I thought you just right-clicked and cooked. Um, I think it's... Oh, bollocks to it. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just stuff food in face. Calories, carbohydrates, proteins, fat. Oh, bloody hell, you have to eat proper stuff? I'm not sure I like that. Because uh, it's a, it's a, t okay, totally different tangent, but there was another game which I played quite a bit of, um, uh, From the Depths, which I played like, a hell of a lot of that, but then the updates basically made it more and more and more complicated. And it got to a point where I couldn't realistically play it. You know, I just didn't have either the time or all the knowledge to put Jesus you're a greedy bastard you know the time or knowledge to do that to put time into doing that and I hope that this hasn't turned out the same way okay so well I'm at the Dixie trailer park so let's have a check and see if I can find where that is but it was off the main highway so it's not that trailer park no not there either okay where the hell am I I might just straight up not have a map for this area. Bollocks. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I don't have a map for this area, so... Okay, let's go. Skidaddle on back to the highway and continue around, I guess. Blimey, he's got a huge crew after him. Oh, well, at least I know what to do if I ever... Well, I say if I ever, when I eventually get to the point where I just want to end this run, I'll just tell everyone to attack them and infinite shotgun battle. Hey, screw it. I'm just going to run up to this guy and see if I can twat him. Thanks, sweetheart. Okay, container yard. Okay. Light him up. <laughs> Didn't you, sweetheart? Anything interesting? Value Tech Walkie Talkie. That might be interesting. Okay, let's have a little look see at that Walkie Talkie. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I'll get it. That's a multiplayer item. That's so I can literally talk to other survivors that aren't nearby. That's a cool idea. I've, I have no bloody idea where the hell I am. These maps are clearly huge now, and they were big to begin with. Okay. Taking breaks, sweetheart, but you know, Undead Horde. Oh, crap, they do have limited ammo. What I don't understand is why I can't just have a... Even if I'm just nearby them and I get the... I can loot their stuff. Hmm, base blockers. Fair enough. Why well, can't just like right click on them and just open their menu as if it was a loot box? I don't know why that's not an option. That's a very strange omission. I just realised I'm, le I'm leading a bunch of pensioners into what is essentially an apocalypse. Ah oh, well, let's continue on down the road. See what's going on. Oh, thank you, random humans. Ah! Oh crap, I'm on fire! Okay, so how do I heal that? Oh yeah, and there's the damage overlay. There we go, that's better. <laughs> uh, and the, oh, oh dear. I don't know what that is, so unfortunately the, far, the forest is just going to have to burn down. Also, I have no idea how that zombie was on fire in the first place. 8 o'clock of the second day, all still shite. Don't leave you, don't die on you. Oh, your friend got fucked up. I'm well, definitely taking the shotgun. Add 42 shotgun shells. Holy shite. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Oh, All right, fine. Die then. Yeah, I know we're not in a building, but I need you to loot. There's some the fucking shotgun shells right there. Again, I love the idea of this. This is a... Uh, it's a, par it's a paradox, really. This is more interesting for me as a player than when it was just you on your own on the map running around. But it's uh, not implemented great. You know, there's a lot of things it needs to sort out. Oh, well, you have fun. What's your name? Kai. Cool. Yes, yes, I'll leave you to die with your pretentiousness. Walk it on down the road with me shotgun pal. And, uh, Mrs. and Random 2 guys. Like I've said before. What? It made me try hitting it? What are you idiots doing? Well, he's dead because he just stood in a fire like a... N <sighs> okay, why can I... Why can I not extinguish these fires? Okay, fine. The, the world may never know. Gee, it's Christmas. Oh, did you get burned as well? Oh, for God's sake. Go on, Bennett. It's like trying to, it's like trying to do a field trip with toddlers. They, they just, you could blink and they will have found something to severely wound themselves with. Right, you can fuck off and all. So now I am the sole thing keeping these morons alive. In the middle of fick buggery nowheres. Ah, a, ah, a sign. How they bleeding? Piss off. Right. Mornity aside, that says... That's a different sounding gun. Mm. Oh, the hell of it. I've been on the freaking highway forever. Let's see what's down here. Just need to have a nice, quiet walk through the Zambi infested woods. Hooray. Yes, we might have someone else with a gun to replace What's-His-Face who died stupidly and horribly. Grand, 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 grand. Two new idiots. That's intriguing because is it going to be like this, you know, survivors just randomly generate or or is it like it wasn't because in the in the quote unquote original game, it was a case of things ran out. You know, what you what was generated the first time round, thank you, was what you got. Like I've said quite a while a bit. No bloody idea where I'm going. I found the maps and just haven't found where I am on the bleeding maps. At the very least, I don't... F no, because the maps aren't randomised in this game. I do remember that. Where the... The hell? So I go all the way through the woods to... 
nothing. Well, I suppose if you think about it, this would be a grand spot for like late game building your own stuff. Because yeah, you're not going to see it in this bit, but you can literally physically like build your own bases and stuff, which is pretty cool. Hold the cock. This is a train station. That has got to be on one of the maps. You know, you can't not have a freaking train station on a map. Right? Right, okay, let's grab these maps and see. There's got to be a freaking railway line on these somewhere. Oh, okay, that's cool. Add note. Needs a pen or pencil. Remove marking with an eraser. That, that's, that's pretty cool. I will concede that. That's pretty damn cool. Just from looking at it, I'm gathering that brown lines are the train stations. Or the, the, tra the, or the train tracks. So they're my four. So there, okay, so there was, I was riding a path. So maybe I'm sort of here. Or maybe I'm sort of like on just by the D. Maybe. Oh, drowsy. Oh, shit, he wants to sleep. Well, we need to actually find some sort of form of civilization first. Which I think I might just be about to walk into because that looks like a fancy fancy fence. Unfortunately, the way that that the survivor thing mod is going at the moment sort of got a feeling of expendability you know you just grab them take them along with you use them up eventually they die starve or stand in a fire and then eventually burn to death hmm pistol well interweaving for me in not sure why that means because Suddenly stepped up, although everything has just gone a bit darker and greyer. Nice to pull Roger being knackered as crap. Okay, because I mean, in all seriousness, you'd think if there was a train station, there would actually be, you know, somewhere for a reason for it to be stopping. Like, you know, a house. Is this going to be another... God damn it, get out of the way. Be another backwards road. It is, isn't it? But, uh... At this rate... Roger is literally going to fucking collapse. Again, that loop, the loop mod that I've got installed definitely better because I do remember it being a case of like the zombies were literally, it was pointless. You know, avoid them because you got nothing for it. Oh, wait, no, is this because, is this an old, is this something left over from the old build? Because you used to get skill points and then you could put it in any of these slots. No, you can't. But now it does seem like you have to... So then what's that? Ah, oh, ah. This is looking civilization eat piss off. Ah, oh, we're back at a trailer parky sort of place. So seeing as you guys apparently don't need to sleep. Come on. In, in, in. In, 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 in. Too much pain to sleep. Okay. So painkillers then. Have I seen those? I would take a break, except I can't because apparently I just... Like I said, I'm at another trailer park, so that should mean I'm on the outskirts of another town, maybe? Yeah, exhausted, in danger of passing out. Yeah, because <laughs> I can't sleep. Is there some nice foods, at least? Oh, okay, maybe I just needed to be tired enough. It's a bit daft. There we are, blimey. Interesting, because as handy as having a... A large amount of people would make sense. It was also tricky because you need to keep them, well, fed and watered. So we've got this trailer park, so there's got to be a bigger road somewhere. Oh, okay, okay, parking spaces. That's a good sign. Off the fuck. Oh, damn it. I kept myself on the glass. That was, that was dumb. Oh, there we are. That's how I do control. Fair enough, but... Uh, hmm. So, order all. Loot room for food. Who the hell are you? Josh? Uh, oh, fine. Why the hell not? I mean, seriously? You say, oh, we got everything. We got everything. No, you bloody well haven't. There's food everywhere. Oh, so you get. Oh, okay, so it's a paradox. You won't do it until you've got a bag and you can't have a bag until you have a bag of a bag of a bag of a bag of a bag. Idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot because I haven't told them to come with me. Come on. Hold the. Hold the phone. Hold phone of alls. That's an actual bloody house. Oh, yeah, here, here we go. There's like research stuff. 
Okay, now it looks like we're actually somewhere. Like I said, I need like a a landmark of some description. I'm actually doing for okay, I'm getting a little bit low. Should probably not just be spraying shotgun shells everywhere. Okay, this seems some sort of low low cost housing, so to speak. Okay, that's on fire. See. Can I use this? Okay, that house is on fire. Oh my shit! No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on, come over here, come over here. No, no, escape. I don't want to. Oh, God damn it. Now come over here. Go on, Bennett, you idiots. You idiots. You're all idiots. You're right. I don't care. Uh, let's see. Medical check on the missus. Oh, bird groin. Okay. Okay, you idiots just going to stand there and burn to death. Okay, then. Oh, God. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's better. And. Uh, Yep. Lost more idiots burned to death. Blimey. Gorm. Bloody hell, look at this place. I'm not even going to question how the hell not like, sand is catching on fire, but... Uh, okay, so s randomly spawning flaming zombies. That's that's a bad. Okay, let's do that little cul-de-sac on fire and full of dead people. The missus is still alive. As far as I'm aware, that's literally the only... Consistency... What's happening right now? Okay, construction site. Don't know about why. Why am I on fire? Okay, random spawning fire, and that wasn't even a zombie. That just that just happened. Oh, Bennett. Okay, clicky, 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 and horde. Not a good. Okay, silenced weapon, nice. Ah, legal legal services, bail bonds. Okay, we might have finally hit civilization after two fucking hours of wandering in the middle of nowhere. It's going to turn out if I just head left instead of right, things would have been fine and dandy, isn't it? Oh. Okay, definitely seeing how at the moment. This game is still very much focused on a. Si you you control one person, you know, not this sort of like trying to party up. It's a grand idea, but it does need a lot of work. Yeah, it definitely turns out when you haven't got what you thought was an unlimited shotgun, you tend to get mullered pretty easily. Out of medical supplies, slowly bleeding to death because I can't apparently figure out a way to stop a scratch from bleeding without just constantly redoing bandages over and over again and I've walked for nearly three hours as of recording unfortunately I kind of wanted to find like a I don't know a mall or a police station or something to do like a last standy sort of thing but yeah, I've been going for too long for that sort of just fun so that was just a little quick revisit of Project on Boyd that was a terrible playthrough I had no idea what I'm doing and I have no idea where I am Okay, even with the massive advantages I started with, I still managed to balls it up. But one thing I do recall is that this is a great deal of fun online. Oh, shut up, William. You don't exist. But either way, for the moment, thank you very much indeed for watching this silly little video of mine. If you enjoyed it, have a little look-see at the channel. See if there's anything else uh, I've made which you want to have a little look-see at. If so, have a little look-see. By all means, by all means, my friend, subscribe if you want to. But most importantly, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.